Hey y'all, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm just going to be applying my makeup and also showing you and telling you how I apply it as well. I'm also going to be doing a short review and demo on the new Urban Decay Afterglow palette. It was $34 at Ulta. I got it last week. If y'all want to know how I achieved this look and what I think about the Afterglow palette, just keep on watching. So I'm going to be going in with Natural Olive Cream Light Formula. I'm not even going to pronounce the brand because it's that. This is day cream. I have the night cream as well, but I've just recently started using this. This is mainly for dry skin. If you have oily skin, I suggest, I mean, you can use this at night before you go to bed as like a night cream, but it is pretty like, it's pretty creamy. So I don't know if it's something that you would want to use. If you do, go very lightly. I'm going to kind of go medium lightly. Okay, that's all I need. That's probably way too much. And I'm not even going to tell you guys where I got it because you already know. Ipsy. I like to put it on my dry points. Like My dry points are normally like right here. Like, well, anybody's dry points. I mean, like usually your T-zone's oily. But like the dry points are just right here and I feel like when my face gets dry it's like so tight. And then I'm going to be going in with Confidence in an Eye Eye Cream by IT Cosmetics. This stuff is incredible. And I'm going to be going in with the Under Eye Reviver by Real Techniques. I'll link this video down below. I got like a, like kind of like a gift set of all different things. Like I had like uh, the Beauty Blender holder, the Beauty Blender, this. And like a couple other things. I'll link it down below if you want to watch it. This stuff's incredible. Um, or this is incredible, not this stuff. Sorry. It's... I don't even know. I can't even describe it. So I can do this all day. And it literally doesn't even get hot. Like it stays cold. Like no matter how long you do this. I love it. Okay, I'll shut up. Let it dry really quick. While that's drying, I'm going to be going in with the NYX eyeshadow base. I like to do my eyeshadow first just because of all the fallout. I used to do it after I put my face on. I would do my eyeshadow last and it just doesn't work for me. There's just so much fallout. While that sets, I'm going to be going in with the Real Techniques setting brush. It's very dense. I usually like to use this brush as a highlighter when I'm putting it on my Cupid's bow. We'll get to that point later. But anyways, I'm just going to go in with it with um, the Bye Bye Pores by IT Cosmetics. I heard that if you do like a translucent powder on your, like after putting your primer on your eye, it avoids creasing and it avoids, sometimes when you blend eyeshadow, they just blend so patchy, it avoids that. So it's been, it's been working pretty good for me. I mean, I'm liking the way my eyeshadow has been turning out. So must be this. First things first. I'm going to be using a few different palettes for my eyes, but first I'll be going in with the Smoky palette by Urban Decay. And I'm going to be using um, these two colors, Kinky and Freestyle, as a transition. This thing almost just hit me in the freaking face. Um, so yeah, Kinky first and then Freestyle. And then I'll be going in with... I like to use a fluffy brush. To start, I'm going to be using the Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush. Pretty fluffy. I love it. Um, I recently got this cleaner on Amazon. It's Color Cleaner Makeup Brush Cleanser Series 3 Seconds Color Off Quick Wash. Um, this stuff is like heaven and it's only like 5 bucks. And you just, it's like a little sponge. Like if you get like grease on like your, um, your stove or even your oven, like when you clean your oven, like this is what it reminds me of. Like it's like the sponge for cleaning stuff like that but you just swirl it in there like so and look at that look at the color just go off it doesn't clean the brush it just gets that color off so it won't you know when you go in with you know for the next day it doesn't like you know add the color from the day before kinky I just swirl it in there like so excess off Okay, next is Freestyle. It's like kind of like a burnt, a lightly burnt orange type of color. Oh, I mean, I guess it's like a, a tan color. It's, an, it's a nice transition shade. I just wish they had one more transition shade in this palette, but hey, it's okay. 
Okay, done with this one for now. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the Lorac Los Angeles palette. I'm gonna be using this brownish oranges color, orangish color. Again, I can't talk today. I'm gonna be going in with a lighter brush. I'm gonna be going in with the, oh, what are you? Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. It's a little smaller than the one that I just used. And I'm just gonna be putting this color that I just showed y'all in my crease. Tap the excess off. Since I have hooded eyes, I'm just gonna look down and find my crease. One more shade. I'm going to be going in with this shade right here. It's like a light brown. Lorac has the most pigmented shadows ever. If you're looking for a good shadow, get one of their palettes. It can't go wrong. And I'm just putting that in the crease as well. <sighs> okay, before we move on, I need some water. My husband made breakfast this morning and he made bacon. That so salty. Okay, good enough transition. I'll be going in with the Smoked Palette again. I'm gonna be using the shade Asphalt in my outer and kind of bring it in a teeny bit. The Unique Deluxe Brush, kind of like a flatter brush. Yeah, rub it in there like so, get the excess off from yesterday's use. So I just like to pack it on like so in remove the excess and just dab I like to dab just kind of pat it on there so first I like to go start on the outside and the remainder I kind of just like to bring it on my crease like right here just kind of a light look towards the inner eye good then we'll just do a little more for the outer corner that's good for now it looks bad we're gonna blend trust me same thing on the other eye. Okay, done with that one. I'm gonna be going in with the crown brush. It's like a nice fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna blend like so. Lightly, light, very light hand. Always hold the end of your brush. That way you won't, it's kind of like painting. You're not gonna be holding it like a pen. You're gonna be holding the end of the brush like this. You just paint your eyes. Mm-hmm, like so. Next, I'm gonna be using the Star Crushed Minerals in the shade Nova Kissed. It's like a light purple. It is a um, a loose shadow. So I'm gonna be going in with my go-to NYX Glitter Primer. Mm -hmm. I'll just go in with this one. Ew, it's kind of dirty, but whatever. Uh, it's called, it's by Royal and Lang Nickel. It's medium eye shader, kind of a flat brush. I'm just gonna be putting the glue on there like so. And kind of just that part where there's no shadow. And then with the same brush, I feel like the glitter kind of sticks more. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of shake some in. I'm gonna tap it into the lid. There's some in the lid. I'm just gonna bring that brush in there and tap it like so and look at all that <laughs> and watch some magic happen. Mm -hmm. Y'all already know I got it in an Ipsy offer. Where else? I'm just gonna use a kind of a lighter gray shade. This is in the shade Mushroom um, by, it's the Urban Decay Shadow Box palette. And I'm just gonna kind of go over the top with that. I'm just gonna lightly blend one more time. That is that for the shadow for now. Take the tape off. I'm gonna be going in with the Professional Matte Rescue. This thing is almost gone, so I might have to open up the new- Oh, shoot, never mind. There's still some left. Oh. It smells so good. Like, it literally smells like this Paul Mitchell shampoo my mom used to wear years ago. Oh, and then I'm just gonna be using the Real Techniques Prep Brush. I love using this, and I, I have glitter all over my face. Oh my God. I'm gonna be using the All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation by Urban Decay in the shade 0.5. Let's just say that's the lightest shade they got. And to apply that, I'm gonna be going in with the It Cosmetics 206 Buffing Mineral Powder Brush. And then one squirt for now, cause 
I do not, if you use this, I do not recommend you dabbing it all over your face and then blending because this dries so fast, like it, so fast before you can even say freaking Mississippi. Okay, so I like to do like part of the face and then just blend. Eesh, that's probably way too much. Done, putting that lid on. Now I look like a zombie. Then I'm gonna be going in with my Lifesaver. I use this every day. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector in the shade Light. Just put it on those dark circles, cause you know I got them. Next, just to keep the Urban Decay trend going today, I'm gonna be going in with the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. It, it was my ride or die for the longest time, but lately the Tarte Shape Tape has been, you know, my go-to, but I like to change it up every now and then. This is good stuff, it's in the shade I don't even know why I'm gonna say it, but it's in the shade Fair. You already know. And just like so. Mm. Okay, I like to set my face with a powder. I mean, I set it with two different powders. Ignore this, please. Um, I'm gonna be going in with the Naked Light Definition Pressed Finishing Powder by Urban Decay. And I'm gonna be going in with the It Cosmetics Over Powder Brush. Nice, humongous, fluffy brush. And just dab it like so, just to set the foundation. The foundation already kind of sets as a powder, but hey, the more matte, the better. Now, back to the concealer. And then, I want to call it a beauty blender. It's the complexion sponge. Okay, and then the excess I just like to put on my chin. And the Bye Bye Pores, pressed. And just swirl the the same fluffy brush we used for the other powder and just set set the bottom and the whole face for that matter for the main brow look brow power by it cosmetics in the shade universal taupe but i'm just gonna use the it cosmetics one today it's the build a brow number 12 heavenly luxe brush it's got the spoolie on the end and then it's also got that the brush for you. I like to use this for the front of my eyebrows, but I love how there's dips. Like that is like what really caught my eye. It really makes it look like that. Cause I don't, I like to, I have to kind of like, what's that word where you kind of have to like make your own brow near the front? You'll see. Put it up like so, not too far. And then I like to start with my good eyebrow first, which is my left brow. And I like to start from the bottom and just light strokes. Next, I'll just go in with the Build a Brow by It Cosmetics in the shade, I almost freaking dropped it, blonde. And then just dab it in there like so, a little goes a long way do very light strokes in the front to make it look natural. Okay, that's good for that one. And then I'm just gonna do the next one. And this eyebrow is lower than this one, so I just draw above my hair. It works though. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Next, I'll just be going back in with the Build a Brow and oop, we'll stab this side in there. That would have been fun. And then, yeah, I'm trying to show you how light, very light, dab it in there. And then just build your brow. This one actually looks kind of flat, so I'm just gonna be going back in. So we're not done with this brush yet. I'm gonna go back in with this and kinda just draw a little more of a brow on top. Then I like to use the Circle Delete 2 by Jane Iredale Concealer and just get like this flat brush and then kinda just clean up a little bit. I like to go right here. Then, holy grail, Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills because I gotta keep this hair 
gelled up because again I have to draw on my brow. Next I'm going to be going back in with the Shadow Box palette by Urban Decay and I'm going to be going in with that mushroom color again and putting it on the bottom lash just so it'll connect and have something on the bottom. If I leave it like this, no. And I'm just going to be going in with this small angled brush. It's a very just an angled brush. And connect. And then just a blending brush by Elizabeth Mott. I'm just going to blend the outside. I like to bring it down a little bit. Then that way it's kind of like a smoked look. Now, the palette I'm going to review. The Urban Decay Afterglow, Afterglow palette. I have not opened it at all. So we'll just do kind of like a quick swatch really quick. These are the colors. Pretty, pretty. I don't know which one I'm going to be using for a highlight. All So this is that, so this color is peroxide. You can barely see it. The thing with Urban Decay highlights, I feel like you really have to, they're super powdery. I like this one. That one's nice. It's kind of a gold color though, so I don't know if it's gonna be good on my skin tone for like a highlight. Oh, that one was Bliss, by the way. Sorry. This one is NSFW, the orangish one. I'll probably use that one more for like eyeshadow. And this one is just side piece. Dude, what is up with Urban Decay in their nasty language? Side piece is that bottom one. So, yes. Today, I'm just going to be using, I'll be using this shade as a blush topper, and then I'll be using Bliss as a highlight. So the blush I'll be going in with... I'll just go in with the CoverGirl True Blend brush. It's very nice airbrushed type of blush. It's super pretty. I always do this. Gotta put bronzer on first. So I'll just be going in with this bronzer. It's in the shade Cairo, I think. It's by Itzy. Not Ipsy, Itzy. <laughs> I think I pronounced it right. I T T S E. It's gonna be using this brush by Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush, but I like to use it as a bronzer brush. And I'm just gonna go like this. Very minimal bronzer, you guys already know. Now, blush. Okay, so we'll just go in with the Afterglow. And I'll use the peroxide color for that um, blush topper. So I'm just gonna be using the fan brush by Royal and Lang Nickel. And I'm just gonna kinda just, you know, dab it in there like so and just kinda top it. It doesn't show up too, too much. It's very sheer, but I don't even know if there's any on my face. Can't even tell. Okay, whatever. I want to pack this highlight on, so I'm going to be using the Mimi Me brush. It just says Mimi Me. I don't know what kind of brush it is. Pack it on like so. There we go. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. And this is in the shade Bliss. Thank you, Urban Decay. Thank you. Yeah, this palette's pretty good. I mean, even though the peroxide shade, I tried to use it as a blush topper. I mean, maybe I'll use a different brush next time, but I mean, it's okay. I think I'm gonna try using it as a highlighter next time since it's so sheer. I thought it was gonna be kind of dark, so that's why I wanted to use it as a blush topper, but yeah, it, I'll try it as a highlight next time. But the Bliss shade, I really like as a highlight. The other two shades, I'll probably be using them as a, um, as eyeshadow because look, they're pretty dark. They're dark for my skin tone. Like that orangey copper shade. Like, I can't use that. I mean, I could try, but... And then that one, it's kind of like a gold. I don't know, we'll see. I like it though. Okay, next, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, and I'm just gonna spray my face. Dry, and I'm gonna be using the No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner by It Cosmetics. 
and I'm just gonna put it in the waterline like so. I love what that does to my eyes. Makes it look so much better. I'm just gonna use this mascara. It's the Voluminous Superstar Red Carpet Black by um, L'Oreal. It's the conditioner on one side, which is nice. And then on the other side, it's the mascara. And the brush is nice. Nothing fancy, perfect. So I'm gonna curl the lashes really quick with the conditioner first. I'm gonna go in with Bottoms Up by Tarte. It's for your bottom lashes. Very small brush. I'm just gonna put it on like so. Okay, last but not least, lipstick. What am I gonna wear? Since I did kind of a darker eye look, I'm just gonna be going in with the, I'm guessing it's Lingerie by NYX. It's in the shade Lace Detail. It's a matte lipstick, so it lasts all day. I'm excited. Okay, that is it for my face look. I'm gonna go do my hair really quick and I will be right back. All right, y'all, that completes today's video. If you did like it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you would like to see from me in the future. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all next time.